Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to manage multiple mod folders to help reduce conflicts between your different mods and maps, as well as how to store those mod folders on a different drive from where you have Farming Simulator 2019 installed. I've acquired hundreds of gigabytes of mods since FS19 came out, and this has been a lifesaver for me, as I like to jump between different maps and find having too many mods in my mod folder can really start to slow things down. Uh, I like to keep a clean mod list uh, so that I can easily see what I'm currently playing with and if I want to enable a new mod I can do that without having to manage the conflicts through the in-game interface. I find it kind of clunky to have to scroll through this if there's thousands of mods in here and check and uncheck them in this interface. It just gets to be a little bit rough. So how do I set this up so I can have uh, my mods separated for each of my save games? Setting this up is actually quite easy. To start, just create a new folder somewhere on your hard drive where you'd like to store a specific set of mods. This does not need to be on the same hard drive where FS19 is currently installed. In my case, I've run out of uh, hard drive space on my primary hard drive, and so I've got a second SSD set up with all my farming simulator stuff on it. I like to create separate mod folders for each of the series that I run, uh, because I've seen a lot of maps that will have conflicts or errors if more than one map exists in the mods folder. And so this is an easy way for me to just keep the mods that I want to run on a given series isolated. In this case, let's go ahead and grab this tutorial mods folder and use that as our example. This is a mod folder that contains the basic set of mods that I tend to use on all of my maps. And in this case, I've got Lone Oak in here because I was doing some testing for somebody on the Discord server, um, trying to figure out some things with course play. So this will be a good example. Once you've placed all the mods you want to use in this directory, the last step is to open your game settings XML file. This file is located in your documents, my games, farming simulator 2019 directory. And if you just scroll down here, you'll find this file that we need to open game settings.xml. You can open this file in any text editor, such as Notepad, which comes with Windows. However, I like to use a program called Notepad++. Uh, the, Notepad++ makes it easier to edit XML files as it provides syntax highlighting, so that's why you see all these different colors here for um, different elements within uh, this XML file. I spend a lot of time looking at code, so I have a dark theme set up on my PC that works for me. Your colors might look a little bit different uh, when you open this if you're using Notepad++, but your file itself should look really similar to mine, but you likely won't see um, this these mods directory override uh, elements that I have at the top of my file. This top line here is what we're gonna focus on, and this line is what tells the game to look for your mods in this location, which you can see here rather than in the mods folder in your Farming Simulator 2019 directory. So in our case, I'm pointing the game to the tutorial mods folder we were just looking at a moment ago. You can see below this line that I have a number of other folders here, but each of these lines is commented out with the uh, opening bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and then this uh, part on the end. Um, these symbols are what indicates that this is commented out in XML. And I do this so that if I want to switch quickly between mod folders, I can just comment out one line and uncomment the desired mod directory. So for example, if I was gonna start uh, recording on Clark Farms after this, I would want to comment this line out here. And you can do that quickly by just pushing Control K when you're on a given line. And then I can come down here to my Clark Farms uh, entry and I can do control shift K to uncomment that out. Obviously you could just come in here and uh, do this manually, but it takes a lot longer to do that. And so using the keyboard shortcuts is a great way to save time if you can remember them. Once you've set your mods folder, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you save this XML file. So in Notepad++, you can see that I haven't actually saved this file because it has a red disk icon here in the uh, upper left hand corner. And so once I've saved that, it turns into blue. Then you need to just make sure that you've completely exited out of FS19. When you relaunch FS19, it will load the mods out of the new directory. And so in this case, you can see now I have my Clark Farm save available to me, 
with all of the mods that I have installed for that playthrough. I've noticed that sometimes there can be a slight delay the first time you launch FS19 after you change mod directories, but subsequent launches are generally much faster. And so with that, that's a quick way to help you manage having different mod directories set up for each of your saved games or maps uh, and have the ability to put them on a separate drive from where you have Farming Simulator installed. So if you're like me and you're running out of space and you want to manage your mod directory better, uh, this is really going to help you out, hopefully. As always, if you have questions, please leave a comment in the description below and let me know uh, if there's other tutorial ideas that you have that you'd like to see me put together. That's all for today. Ketterk, out.